Hey there, welcome to DIY Projects with Pete. Today we're going to build an entertainment center to hold your subwoofer, your receiver, and any other consoles you might have. Let's get started. The first step is to cut the two x four legs down to size. Use a miter saw or a circular saw for this process. Next, rip the horizontal stretchers down to size on a table saw, or simply use one x threes if they sell them at your local lumber store. Cut the stretchers to the length noted in the free plans which are available at DIYPete.com forward slash TV console. Then prepare for assembly. We are going to be attaching the frame boards to each other using a combination of pocket holes with screws and glue. A common question I get is what screw length to use with various thicknesses of wood. And so I'd recommend using the screw selector wheel to help make this process easy. I'll have a link below. Drill pocket holes in the ends of the horizontal stretchers. Do this in both the long and the short stretchers. Then attach them between the 2x4 legs using wood glue and screws. I made quarter inch spacers to use to set the stretchers in from the legs a bit and to add some dimension. Attach the top stretchers first, flush with the top of each leg, and use a speed square to ensure the boards are all lined up correctly. Measure up 2.5 inches from the bottom of each leg and then attach your lower stretcher. Use wood glue and screws. I used two screws on the end of each stretcher, then attach the sides using the same process. Rotate the frame and connect the boards. Continue around the frame until all four side stretchers are attached. I made one inch spacers to inset the side horizontal stretchers. The one inch inset allows us to add one by six boards to the side in a later step. Next, create a shelf divider. We put pocket holes in the vertical pieces to connect it to the frame in a later step, and we screwed the boards together using normal wood screws to form a box prior to attaching it to the frame. Pre-drill with a small bit and then use screws to attach the boards. You'll need to place the screws away from the pocket holes as best as possible. Measure in from the sides to determine where the shelf divider will go and attach using screws through the pocket holes. Then start cutting the slats for the shelving. Space the slats about a quarter inch apart from each other, and you'll need to cut and rip the end boards down a bit to fit properly. Attach the lower shelves using an air nailer or hammer and nails. I'm using an 18 gauge battery powered nailer from Ryobi, and it's one of the handiest tools I have in the shop. Next, assemble the frames for the upper shelves. Drill one pocket hole on the end of each shorter board and attach using glue and a screw. Put the shelves into place. I attached them to the main frame using one and a quarter inch wood screws. Make sure to pre-drill and to space the screws away from the pocket holes. Ensure the shelves are level and use a set of clamps to help hold them in place while attaching. You can use the same method to attach the other shelf. All right, and I wanted to give a quick shout out to our friend and fellow DIYer, Drew, over at the Rockin' H Wood Shop. He sent some awesome shirts our way to sport and so I have it on in today's video. If you haven't yet checked out his YouTube channel, I invite you to do so. It's awesome. It's called the Rockin' H Woodshop and there will be a link below. Let's get back to today's project. We'll resume by cutting slats for the upper shelves and then ripping end boards as needed. Then attach the slats using glue and nails. I used about two nails on each end. Cut one by six boards down to size for the sides of the TV console. One of the boards on each side of the console will need to be ripped down to fit properly. Attach the boards from the inside using wood screws and glue. Make sure to pre-drill each hole prior to putting in the screw. Use two screws for each 1x6 board. Attach from the inside of the lower stretcher and of the shelf support as well. Next, lay out and attach the rest of the slats for the shelving if you haven't already. Cut a piece of backing down to size to cover the back side of the furniture. Attach the backing using short nails and glue, then use a hole saw behind each compartment to create holes so you can feed wires through it. Sand rough areas as needed. Cut the two top boards to the desired length on the miter saw. Position them on the base and measure to make sure the overhang is even on each side. I attach the boards from the top side using a combination of two inch long 18 gauge nails and wood glue. You could attach from the underside using pocket holes and screws if you'd prefer. And if you're interested in creating a concrete top for your TV console, you can check out my video on making concrete tables, which is linked to below. Do a final sanding to smooth things out and to remove any rough edges. Lastly, apply the finish of your choice. 
I used the dark walnut stain from Minwax and did two coats. I wiped it on using a rag and used a brush to get in some of the hard to reach places. Wear rubber gloves for this process and make sure you're in a well ventilated area. I popped the garage door open for this process. After staining, I brushed on two thin coats of polyurethane. You can lightly sand between coats if needed. Then let it dry out and air out before moving into your home. And in case you're interested, you can find links to the subwoofer, receiver, wire hiding kit, and TV below. All right, thanks so much for tuning in to DIY Projects with Pete. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. For the complete tutorial, head over to DIYPete.com forward slash TV console. Thanks again for watching and cheers from Montana. Please subscribe and check out some of the other videos on the channel. Click on the left thumbnail to learn how to build a concrete top you could use for your TV console or on the right thumbnail to learn how to hide those ugly TV wires behind your wall. Cheers guys!